hey guys what's up now today i am going to sh- be showing you guys a really cool script that you can execute on your linux distro which has the apt package manager so let's just say that you have installed a really badass distro and uh, every time you have to go online and check the command and then copy paste it and then you have to do that again and again and again so you don't have to do that anymore so i'll show you how so let's type bwget and then http tiny ur tiny cc slash puppet and tiny this script n right so it's tiny cc dot ui slash puppet and two times and and then python puppet so this command just says that you have to download the script and then after downloading straight away install it or the or execute it so it's all done now and after you do that if you are running this command from a different directory other than your home directory you have to uh, write type y and not so n and this i just said that uh, it works only on the distro that has the apt package manager so let's type one and then after you do that you have this really big list of uh, commands that packages that you can install right now uh, so uh, it, it says that you can install multiple packages at the same time so let's just say that i have to install one four six and eleven that is the elementary tweaks git the java and the file reader so to do that you can type one four six seven six eleven and then uh, after you do that I want to uh, exit it so X to exit it exit the script let's just demonstrate uh, by typing one it asks for password type the password and then it uh, installs the packages package so the first option was elementary tweaks and then it just installs the elementary tweaks right now so after it installs it right away goes to the list menu so that you can install uh, different packages again I, d- I don't want to but if you have any package that you install for the first time you can just add it to the project or the script I'll show you how to do that so you have to go to the puppet script git repository and then you have to click on the clone and download button here and then click on the copied clipboard icon and then so now if you don't have git you can uh, install it from the puppet script uh, you can right away execute it because we have downloaded it and that is the fourth option right here so 4 comma x and it will install git right away on your linux distro and after you do that you have to clone this uh, repository so that i can show you how to add your own command to the project uh, so that everyone around the world can use that to set it up on the first one so after you uh, write this command you have to go to you have to type and go to the directory that you just cloned into and then uh, you can see that those files are present so ubuntu has this cleanup script that it suggests after installing every packages not every but after ins- uh, it you have to just clean it after installing some packages 
I'll just add it to the script so that you guys can um, clean up whenever you want. So you have to open the puppet apt list dot sh from the directory or repository that you cloned in. So I have assigned the cleanup uh, command sc so that the puppet script uh, can um, that's why clean up and then go to this you can see that the 41 option is here with a as its prefix so a stands for the apt uh, package so that the script can know that it is a an apt package so after you do that you have to write a for the apt package and c for the command and that you yeah, that the user will in, enter so paste the really long script that ubuntu gave us and tidy it up a bit so after you tidy it up you can see that there are no and and here so the puppet script does not understand the and and so it understands the vertical line thing replace that and and with the vertical line thingy so after you do that that's all so we have added the clean up option in the list and then the puppet.cl file so now close the editor and then type uh, if you don't know how to use git it's okay i've created a script for you that can do that automatically so python utils dot slash git dot py and then uh, type y for the changes and then write a commit message saying which package that you have added to the list after you do that the um, i'll push it to the master branch you can push it to the day branch too and the password you can uh, you can type the password and then after you do that it's all updated so now um, you have to uh, go to the home directory where uh, we executed the puppet script last time and then delete these three files which are from the old puppet list so now let's type the magic command it's not so magic right now but the first time it was uh, magic so after that press enter and it will execute uh, the new command list and one and then there is the cleanup option that we have just entered press c type c okay so after you do that type y to obviously uh, continue the process and that's it it executes the cleanup script right away and then goes to the main list so that is puppet script for you and um, you can if you want to make those changes to the main project you have to go and click on the fork button after you do that you have to uh, create a new pull request and before you create a pull request you can just follow the guide that I showed you right now from the second section of this video and click on the new pull request button so that's it so I hope that you guys contribute to the uh, project by adding your uh, the packages that you install for the first time and then so that everyone can install it so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next time